Hey guys, it's Hannah and I'm here today to show you what all of my wonderful friends and family got me for Christmas with the bookish and nerdy variety. So let's just start into it. I hope you guys had a really great holiday and whatever you celebrate and I just hope that you had a nice break and spent some quality family time before the end of the year and yeah. I will get into my books and nerdy things that I was very spoiled this Christmas and very, very thankful for everything that I got. So first up, my one of my books that I got was Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. This is about a girl who is in high school and she has OCD and she's got dark thoughts and I'm excited to read into this. I'm really, um, my field that I'm interested in is psychology, so anything like this I'm really interested in reading and just diving into that even deeper and seeing if it is done well and how it's represented and hoping that it doesn't turn into stereotypes because mental disorders come in all shapes and sizes and they look totally different and I just I want to enlighten the world and read different books that shed light in different ways with mental illness. My next book is The Bake Off by Beth Kendrick. This is one of my contemporary baking books that I love to read about that's got the recipes that are mixed in with the stories and family and cooking and I love all about that type of a book. I don't don't remember too much about this. I did ask for this for Christmas. So this is about two sisters who are, sounds like hard up for cash, so they enter in a baking contest even though they don't really bake. So they're taking one of their family recipes and entering into a contest and they have to work together and it sounds like things go awry because that's usually what happens in these books and they have to bake their way out of their mess. So just a fun little book that I like. I cannot start, cannot wait to start reading. So this is just a cute little book that my husband threw in there. He saw it and thought it was cute. I love penguins and it's called Your Personal Penguin by Sandra Boyna, Boyton? Boyton? I apologize if I mispronounced your name, <laughs> um, but this was just really, really cute. It is about a penguin who basically wants to be this hippo's personal penguin and be his best friend and it's just super, super cute and I, I definitely wasn't expecting this in my stocking this year, but it was very, very cute. Next up, I got Winger by Adam Westmith. Now this looks really crazy. <laughs> um, the cover throwing me off a little bit. I was actually turned off by that. I love the spine though. Isn't that gorgeous? So I asked for this book and I asked specifically for the, the hardcover because I love the spine and apparently the soft cover doesn't have the gorgeous spine like this and there's a second book now out and they match so that's amazing. But I was actually kind of turned off by this because this looks just dumb. <laughs> To be honest, I'm sure that the, the the cover will make a lot more sense once I read the book, but um, I was watching, I think, Jesse the Reader, and he recommended this book and actually said it was really good and funny, so I picked it up. I'm on a whim, and I hope I like it. I, I've been in the contemporary mood, so hopefully I'll like this one. Next up this Christmas, I received The Cake Therapist by Judy Fertig from my lovely husband. Um, I... I think I got this from my husband. Well, one of my family members <laughs> got this for me for Christmas. This is, again, another one of those baking books that I love to read that's contemporary. And I love that this has deckled edges. I'm such a sucker for deckled edges. And look inside. Look how cute this is. It's full of cakes. Oh my gosh. I love it when there's like little extra details, especially in a soft cover like this. I mean, it's so cute. I love the, like, looks like rainbow sugar almost with it and it's it's just such a nice touch and when you look on the back but this on the back has all um it's got like rainbow lace detailing like that's such just a nice little touch like that's really you took time and effort to figure out what you wanted your book to look like that going on about the book though <laughs> um this just sounds so amazing. So this is, I think it's got, I'm hoping it has a little magical realism, and I think it does. So on the back it says, 
Perhaps it was a voluptuous vanilla that your sharp-edged self could sink into like a pillow, or a homesick pomegranate each seemed like a ruby slipper that would take you back to the place where you were loved and where people had missed you. That's where I was going, if only I could taste it. This sounds phenomenal, and I can't wait to dig into this. I just love the magical realism mixed with cake. That's my absolute favorite type of book. If you have recommendations, please let me know, because... I cannot get enough of this, and they're actually not as common as you think they are. But I'm going to pick this up and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Next up, I finally have The Wrath of the Dawn by Renee Adia. This is a um, Thousand and One Nights retelling. I've heard really mixed feelings about this. As soon as I heard this, the premise of this when it came out, I was in love. I remember watching a video and they were do, um, talking about the cover and they had a pre-release. The cover actually like lifted it up and then they took that away and I'm sad but it's still gorgeous cover and I know they're making a second one because it's got a big following. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm really excited to get into it. If you haven't heard about it, this book is about a man takes a wife every night and then he kills her. And so to, I think the main girl she volunteers to be the wife to save her friend or her sister, someone, and for some reason she isn't killed that next day. So I'm really excited to get into this. I think it's a love story, but I think it's also a mystery because I think that she play she volunteers so she can kill him instead. So I'm really excited to get into this. I've been wanting this forever and my husband finally got it for me to shut me up because I've been asking, like I've been talking about it and talking about it and I never picked it up for some reason. Also, in that same boat, I got I got A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I am so excited. So this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And again, I have been wanting these two books forever since I heard about them. Like, like the booktubers I was watching, they, they before they even came out, they were talking about these books, and I was so pumped. There's so much hype over these books, and I wanted them so bad. Again, this is some people love it, some people hate it. I'm excited to try it out. So it, this is about fae, and there's this beast and fairies, and I'm really excited. Plus, it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Yes. So I will read this book, and I will let you guys know what I think of this one as well. So I heard about this from Sam at Thoughts on Tomes. This is Molokai Alan Bernert. I got this um, from my husband. I told him I really wanted this for Christmas. This is about a girl in Hawaii and she's on Molokai, which if you guys don't know, used to be a leprosy colony. And I don't really know too much about that. I will link her video down below. She does a review on it and she loved it. She raved about it and it really made me pick it up. So I happened to find it at my local bookstore. So I found it and I, and I was like, this this is what I wanted for Christmas. <laughs> so he went and bought it for me. Um, I will link her down below and definitely go watch her videos. And if you guys start subscribed to her, go check her out because she is phenomenal. But she gives a synopsis of this book much better than I'm doing right now. And it just sounds amazing. So I'm really excited to get into this one. And last but not least, the book that I've probably most been looking forward to because I knew I was getting it for Christmas. And that is The Little Paris Bookshop, a novel by Nina George. This book looks so cute. So this, oh, it's kind of shiny. You can barely see. This book was rec er, recommended to me on Amazon, and so I was looking into it, and I'm like, yes, this is exactly me. So it is about a bookkeeper who recommends books to his customers that will help him in life. So it's like, this is the book that will speak to you and that needs you, and it's not just a book recommendation. It is a magical realism, and this is the book that you need to read. I am so excited <laughs> to read this. Anything about books, and it's about Paris, and I, I'm so ready for this. I As soon as I'm probably done with the, my next book, I'm probably going to pick this up, and I have a feeling I'm just going to fly through it, which is going to make me sad, because I think it's a standalone. Don't get me wrong, standalones are great, but I just want my books to continue on forever and ever and ever. <laughs> so that is all of my books that I got for Christmas. I was very fortunate. I mainly got books and I'm totally okay with that as my Christmas presents. So those are all of my books I have. I am now going into going to go into my nerdy 
things that I got for Christmas. So if you were just interested in the books, feel free to click out here. But I am going to be showing some pop figures that I got because I also collect those as well, if you can't tell. So, yeah, let's get into the pop figures. So I started unwrapping these and then I taken them out of the package and I was like, oh wait, I should show my, my viewers. And so some of them are out of the package and we already threw the packages away, but other ones are still in there. So I got little, ooh, <laughs> little holiday Groot and he's got snow on him and it looks like he's been throwing snowballs and he's got little, um, little bow around his pot. And actually, if you guys watched my Marvel Collector Core video, I have like a little holiday Groot um, ornament and the pot and bow are actually switched different colors. So that's kind of cool that you didn't get the same thing. But he is just so cute. I love these little guys. They just make me happy. <laughs> Next up, I got Daenerys Targaryen. Daenery? Daenerys? I can't... I always say her name wrong and now I'm stuck saying her name wrong because now it's out of habit. My husband always makes fun of me for it too. Daenerys? Daenerys? I think it's Daenerys Targaryen. Um, Khaleesi, <laughs> mother of dragons. She is by far my favorite character in Game of Thrones. No spoilers because I'm not caught up on those past like two seasons, but I love her. I haven't read the books either, but I love her and I lo really specifically wanted the blue outfit. Um, and she's got her little dragon whip there, and she has these braids through here. The only thing I don't like about this pop is that you can, like, see where the attached, the hair to this. And some of the other ones aren't like that. <laughs> Next up, I, I actually found this one last minute and got this for my husband, and then he got it for me. And so as we were opening presents... We, he opened his first and he was like, oh, thanks, and he didn't seem that excited. And I was like, you wanted that one, right? And he was like, yeah, and then I opened it later and he's like, that's why. <laughs> so I got C-3PO without the red arm. I don't really care for the red arm. Uh, I like the original put together one. I know he's the same one with from the new video or from the new movie versus the old movies. But I just like how he looks all, with all gold. He is so cute. I am trying to be a beauty guru right now. <laughs> um, but he's so cute. And I I just love him. I love C-3PO. I love characters like him. Him and Spock and Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. I, I just love all of these type of characters so <laughs> had to have him he was so cute next up are the ones that I have actually still in boxes so I have the Hot Topic exclusive Ariel and she's um, actually as the mermaid version but she is like the hipster um, Ariel and I just think she's cute and I think I, I like the glasses I think she's nerdy and it makes her seem more like a bookworm and she's just cute I didn't know, I really wasn't planning on wanting the glasses one, but I saw her and I thought she was cute. So, I wouldn't mind her also as a regular Ariel, but I just, she's my favorite Disney princess. But I, I love the, the glasses one too. Next up, with my Marvel collection that I have going here, I got Captain America. I eventually think I want all of them. Right now I have Lady Thor up there, and then I have Iron Man, which you, he is kind of blasting off of the screen. But um, I think I eventually want all of them. He's pretty cute though. And then last but not least in my pop figures, I was super excited to get these, and I thought this was very appropriate. I got Sherlock Holmes and Dr. John Watson. And I specifically wanted the one where he was not carrying a skull, because I think the skull is creepy. But you can either get him with a violin, a skull, an apple, or with his little deer soccer hat. But I just wanted the regular Sherlock Holmes and Watson. And if you guys did not know, I actually named my cat Sherlock and Watson. So I thought I had to have the pop figures to go along with them. And we're actually rewatching all of them on on Netflix, so we're going back through the seasons because we already watched them. We love the movies and I haven't read the books, 
don't kill me. I should read the books because I love all of the, the, the type, you know, the characters and I really should. But uh, love the movies, love the TV show, love, what's his name? Oh crap, I'm like obsessed with him. How do I? As soon as I get in front of the camera, I blank on names. What's his name? Something coming back. Also, if you guys didn't know, <laughs> the person who plays Sherlock is also going to be um, Doctor Strange in the Marvel movies. We are really excited for Marvel movies, so we, we have done our research on all of that stuff too. But I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. That's all I got for Christmas. That's my nerdy bookish haul of Christmas goodies I got. I hope you guys had a great time spending time with family and just enjoyed your time with them and slowed down a little bit. I think with the craziness of the holiday season, we kind of forget that this was it, time to be with family and just enjoy it. So I hope you guys had a good holiday and I hope you guys have a great rest of the year. I will definitely talk to you guys before then because I'm filming a ton of videos. But I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. I'm just so happy being back filming. <laughs> I will see you guys soon, I guess. Bye. A court of thorns and thorn. <laughs> Next up for what I got for Christmas, I got Molokai by Alan Burnett. Um, so I was watching. Who was I watching? Oh. I can picture her. She's been doing like really cool things with her hair lately in her videos. She's got gray hair and she had purple hair. Ah, oh, come on. I, it's going to drive me freaking nuts. Burnett, 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 Burnett. Burnett? Anyway, what's his first name? If you guys remember Cumberbox's first name, leave the comment down below. <laughs> I made out like a bandit. If you guys want a like pop figure haul, let me know down below and once we're, we change setups and everything, I will for sure upload that video because I love pop figures.